this has to be the funniest rivalry I've seen in recent memory. So the Luka Doncic and the Devin Booker rivalry, I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. It's just going to continue. And I'm just excited to see this because this is something that <laughs> I honestly look forward to when I see the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Phoenix Suns. So the Phoenix Suns, they have been a team that they have tried a few things in, in their game. They have, you know, uh, had the most successful seasons in recent in recent times. They're not like a dumpster fire like they were the Phoenix Suns, the way they were a few years ago, uh, like a long time ago, like in 2015, 2016, when Devin Booker was coming in. And it has been fun, especially to see like the Phoenix Suns just rise upon the ashes, just try to gun for that top, top seeding in the West. And the one thing that they never prepared for is them meeting a guy like Luka Doncic. So when CP3 got traded to the Phoenix Suns, I honestly did not see them have like a, that of a successful season. I didn't see them have it like that. And in the first season that CP3 was there, they made the finals and they went up against the Milwaukee Bucks and they lost in six games. And that time they were just at the peak of their power. They're just talking all that. Uh, they, you know, they were just, you know, trash talking a lot. Then in the next season after that finals appearance, they had like 64 wins in that season. And that was the season where I was just getting to see a Suns versus Warriors matchup in the in the in the playoffs. And Luka Doncic wasn't having that. And all season it was just chippy between those two teams, the Suns and the Warriors. Then the Suns versus the Mavericks happened in the se in the West semis. And we all know what happened. Uh, Luka Doncic, he beat the Suns in Game 7, blowing them out of their own arena. It was so it was so embarrassing. So I put that graphic on there. Uh, you can see the Phoenix Suns. They have like a very good regular season record against the Dallas Mavericks. But when it comes to the postseason, the times they matched up, especially leading 3-2. They blew. They went and blew a 3-2 lead, and they had the worst Game Seven performance of all time. They got beat <laughs> brutally by Luka Doncic, and Luka Doncic was just toying with them. And fast forward to like this time, this time around, you can see the Suns. They made their you know key signings in there. You know they got in Bradley Beal in in a trade in a blockbuster move. They traded for KD and they're just trying to, you know, stack up their team. But unfortunately, they're not even a uh, above 500 team. They're uh, below 500 team right now. And in Christmas Day, they were slated to match up against each other and they did. So you can see on that graphic, it was just funny because it just came from that Game 7, uh, the Mavs versus Suns series uh, in the 2022 postseason, the West Semis. So... It was it was just a great thing to see. Luka Doncic just drop a fifty bug on there, and he's just been dominating the Suns for in the recent times. And you can see Luka Doncic like he has been sensational all even the time that he got drafted. He won the Rookie of the Year, and every season he's just been just adding on to like his spectacular performances. But the but the thing is, when I look at a guy like you know. Uh, a guy like Devin Booker, you know, he has all the he has all the things that you know going right for him. You know, he is on that max deal. He made the final somewhere. Luka Doncic has yet to you know uh, set foot in. You know, Devin Booker made the finals, but when it comes to like this rivalry, I can say Devin Booker and the Suns have been taking quite some L's in recent times, especially after that finals appearance. It's just been all downhill because they've been the butt of so many jokes. And looking at the way um, the NBA is setting up, I feel like the Suns, even with the moves that they have made, they won't be able to compete with a team like the Dallas Mavericks in a seven-game series, especially knowing for a fact that Kyrie is there. It's just that he got injured. But when he comes back, I don't think um, the Suns will be able to like compete heavy with them, especially in the Western Conference, which is very, very stacked. I'm not sure how they're going to you know, uh, continue with that trajectory of thinking that they can contend just because they have KD, I'm not sure. So this rivalry, I feel like it's just going to continue for, <laughs> for for the foreseeable future because I don't see it stopping. And looking at um, how the NBA landscape is just shaping up, the Denver Nuggets are just, you know, 
that team that can be able to like replicate that blueprint that they saw the Golden State Warriors have in forming that dynasty the way they started their first championship they took it this season and I can just say the league is in safe hands because having these superstars like uh, Luka Doncic uh, Devin Booker Giannis Jokic they're just coming into the new generation of stars that are going to take over from LeBron James Stephen Curry uh, KD um, all those guys so I'm very excited to see this rivalry I just hope it just continues because I, I like tuning into such because it's very entertaining you can see every team it just looks to one up the other and looking at a guy like Luka Doncic he's sure in he's sure he's assuring for the MVP race and I'm just waiting to see how this whole season is gonna pan out so yeah man you tell me what you think in the comment section I'm out peace